so welcome to this tutorial so in this particular tutorial i'm going to discuss what is meant by hidden surface and how that hidden surfaces will be removed from the scene so in this particular tutorial we will cover various topics so first topic is what is meant by hidden surfaces means introduction to hidden surfaces then we will discuss what are the types of hidden surface removal algorithms so we'll discuss what are the types of hidden surface removal algorithms and we'll discuss various hidden surface removal algorithms so that is nothing but the outline of this particular tutorial so here we'll discuss what is meant by hidden surface and how that hidden surfaces will be removed so first of all for the generation of realistic graphics we must identify the parts of the scene or objects which are visible from the particular viewing direction if suppose somebody is at one place then he will find few objects are uh, he can view some objects and some objects are hidden due to the other objects so that is nothing but how we will find the hidden surfaces from the particular direction so there are various algorithms as well as methods available to identify the visible surfaces and removing the hidden surfaces from the graphics so actually whenever we are removing the uh, object it doesn't mean that we are removing from the graphics we are keeping that as a hidden whenever the uh, viewing direction will change at that time the the object that object may come into the picture or it will be as a front object so sometime that object may be hidden or sometime it may be front so that is based on the viewing directions so the algorithms which are used to identify visible surfaces and remove the hidden surfaces are called as hidden surface removal or visible surface detection algorithm so sometimes it can be called as hidden surface removal algorithms sometimes it can be called as visible surface detection algorithm so you have to show the visible surfaces and you have to hide the uh, hidden surfaces so that is nothing but what is mean by hidden surface or hidden surface removal now what are different types of hidden surface removal algorithms so there are two types of hidden surface removal first is object space method and second is image space method first is object space and second is image space so in object space method it compares object or part of the object as a whole to determine visible surfaces if suppose one object is behind other if suppose object 1 is front and object 2 is behind then object 2 will be considered as a a whole object as a hidden from the uh, viewing direction so that is nothing but you are comparing the object from object or part of the object with each other to determine whether it is visible or not visible or whether it is uh, hidden or visible but in case of image space method it is decided or visibility is decided point by point means pixel by pixel so the name first name is back face removal algorithm second is z buffer or depth buffer algorithm next is a buffer algorithm next is pentos algorithm we will discuss scan line algorithm and we will discuss area subdivision algorithm so those are the various algorithms for finding the hidden surfaces so we will discuss now first algorithm for hidden surface removal that is back face removal algorithm so back face removal algorithm it is object space type of algorithm where we are comparing the polygon or part of the object with other to identify whether it is visible or non visible so in this back face removal algorithm we have to consider a normal vector n to the polygon surface having the cartesian coordinates a b c and we have to consider the vector v in the viewing direction and based on the dot product of the normal vector and the viewing vector if it is v dot n means dot product of v dot n is greater than 0 then we can say that polygon is back face so we have to uh, hide that particular polygon but if suppose v dot n means dot product of v and n is less than 0 then polygon is front face so i will explain this in detail polygon having the vector n1 and this is the viewing vector v so we have v dot n1 so v n1 cos theta so we know dot product v n cos theta so here v and n1 this is n1 and this is v so the angle is less than 90 so 
we know that in case of cos so cos value is for 0 it is 1 it is decreasing till 90 at 90 it is 0 and from 90 to 180 it is minus it is positive so that this v dot n uh, v dot n1 will be greater than 0 so if the v dot n1 is greater than 0 it means that this is a back face so you have to hide this space uh, hide this uh, particular face or polygon suppose this is the second case where n2 this is the polygon having the vector uh, n2 normal vector n2 with x y z coordinates and this is the wing direction viewing direction if you take those v and n2 angle will be greater than 90 so dot product of this v dot n2 it is v n2 cos theta so we know that the cos theta it is minus from 90 to 180 so this angle or this calculation will be less than 0 so because of that we can say that this face is front face so always remember as we know polygon is back face if v dot n is greater than 0 polygon is front face if v dot n is less than 0 so that is explained for the back face removal